Hey, welcome to the live stream. Time for some Alpta Zwift. It's been a while. We're heading back to the climb where we have had much fond memories. Good evening, Finn. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the live, live, live stream. Good evening, dude. If you're in here already, welcome. You joined very early. Quite rare to see me already on the bike 15 minutes before the start. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not the full Alpha Zwift. This is 20 minute, well, it should be a 20 minute effort from the bottom to, I think it's bend 11, which is where this race finishes. So it's not all the way to the top, but it's long enough to hopefully give us a good 20 minute effort. Good evening, here it is. <laughs> Hello Diego, welcome. Of course, I get nervous. Everybody is. Particularly get nervous when I know I'm gonna go quite hard. Hey Jordan, we're doing this around 100% FTP. I actually don't know what my FTP is. So uh, the idea is I'm gonna go fairly hard and then that'll give us an idea what my FTP is. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Good morning, Jeff. Let's hope so, Derek, let's hope so. Ahoy, Davida. Well, I'm certainly not from England, Thomas. I'm from Wales. <laughs> no, we're definitely not all from England. It's not an insult, but when I go away on holiday somewhere, I always say I'm from Wales. I never ever say I'm from the UK. <laughs> Some people like that actually. Some people, they don't like the UK, but they like the individual countries. <laughs> Thank you, John. Lewis. John Lewis. Yeah, actually I am as well. Winglish. Half oh, well shot English. Okay, we got ten minutes into the event. You are early, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you.
I have a feeling there's going to be lots of viewers tonight. Everyone loves Alpha's Swift. And it seems like everyone loves it when I'm doing it. <laughs> I should do it every day. <laughs> Hundred of you already in here. Hello. I haven't got the fan on yet, this aiding my warm up here by not having the fan on. <laughs> Very well said, Finn, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Moon. Hello, Paul. Grim. You're not from this planet. For sure. A tasty Josh, very tasty. Thank you, Magwaf. Yes, Rob, the 10,000, we did 10,000 meters. The 10,000 subscribers, I think, didn't we? And amazingly, we're now at 20,000. What on earth makes you lot watch this channel? <laughs> oh, that is bad timing. But, there's always a positive. I don't have to look for it, but there is always a positive. Yeah, we all wish you well. Get well soon. Indeed they do, yeah. I hope you're well. Wow, well, we're edging towards 150 live viewers currently, and we haven't even started yet. Don't peak too early, guys. <laughs> Training difficulty tonight is 100%. I repeat, 100%. Race starts in five and a half minutes, everybody. Here we go. We are about to teleport.
Good evening, and I am well. Thank you, sir. How are you? What we're watching, Thomas, we're watching a race of Alp de Zwift, or at least half of it, so, yeah. To be honest, Jordan, it all depends. Uh, today, because I've not done anything other than computer work all day, some mobility stuff, some stretching, I've not really done anything, like, strenuous. I haven't ridden this morning, which sometimes I tend to, uh, but I haven't. So I just consume a pretty standard diet, really, um, because in total, the session's only going to be like an hour. I'm going to do this 20-minute test, obviously, within it. But generally speaking, unless there's something a bit more substantial than that hour, um, it's fairly it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's... Uh, I'm obviously looking at carbohydrate more um, than I would on rest days or easy days, but it, but I I certainly don't really change much specifically. Um, maybe the only thing I do is is uh, <clears throat> is have a gel like 30 minutes between an hour and 30 minutes before, just to make sure. Although it doesn't really. You can't, what I'm about to say is, you, you can't un F U C K a bar diet. Like, if you've, if you've not eaten anything all day, and then you think, oh crap, I better eat something, it's three hours before my test. You're probably not gonna have a very good test, you know? You know that already, but you'd be surprised how often that happens. Twenty-minute test. We're gonna try. If it is twenty minutes, we'll see how it plays out. But basically, it's yeah, and it's a TT. So even a day. What's my quickest time up after Zwift? Uh, someone needs to correct me if I'm wrong. But is it is it thirty-four minutes something? Well, it should be 20 minutes long, Ian. I purposely haven't called this uh, this live stream in an FTP test. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Piercing plan. Get to the bottom, and then... Well... I don't actually know what I'm going to be capable of doing for 20 minutes. So we need to, um, I need to maybe be quite controlled the first five minutes. And then uh, once everything's settled down, then I can assess um, maybe if I can hold that. Uh, and internally, I'll know that after, after between five and eight minutes. Eight minutes is usually the point where I start to realize <clears throat> this is like, can I go the distance at this? Can I can I raise it or do I have to back off? So eight minutes is is usually that point. I'll give you a thumbs up or something at that eight minute point. Yes, yes, I know, Ian. I know, I know. I was looking for a full Alp to Zwift race, but there wasn't one that fitted in with my schedule. So here we are. Sorry. <laughs> you know and I know. <coughs> Ooh, it's cold. Okay. We're going to take it steady to the bottom, remember. Indeed, Ian. Indeed. Okay, there we go then, everybody. Steady away. 
Draft is off, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Draft is off. I'm going to stay with the group anyway. <laughs> we'll use this part of a little warmer. People will probably realise that it's off now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's realised now. <laughs> Okay. Like I said, use this as a warm-up. Although it's not true to the actual event, because the, the event is timed from the very start, I think. <coughs> but we're just going to go control here. Big, if Niall is watching live, please do not ride around me. <laughs> do your own thing. <coughs> for the fear of putting me off if there's someone around me uh, that I know who's roughly the same like just do your own thing yes Bert yes <laughs> dials off the back <laughs> not to worry not to worry long way to go <laughs> This is the fun bit. Steady start. Around the 200 watts. About 60% of FTP. If I'm guessing. About 60-65% of FTP. This is a really crap playlist I got here. So there's a good chance i got a bit of time to change it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because that's how long it is to the finish rotor. How many riders am I caught here? That's a bit of a... <laughs> one to one. Um, what about 30 riders? Yeah, but Dave, this is easy, man. What are you talking about? You'd make this look easy as well. Everybody would. If you're not making this look easy, you're doing it wrong. Ignore the wattages. The wattages are, rel are irrelevant. You know, they're only relevant to me. Ignore the watts per kilo, it's only relevant to me. Figure it out using your own, what your uh, ability level is, translate it across, and think to yourself, oh, if I was riding blue and gray here, yeah, that would be easy, yeah? Uh, the last month I probably averaged around uh, 15 hours a week. It does say on my uh, Strava, actually. Chain of difficulty, good question. Tonight it is on 
Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. I have been racing at this level for 15 years, so... Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't take it for granted. That's partly why I... Uh, I have you lot to thank for keeping me grounded and... You know, allowing me to understand that there's more to it than what I do. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the Sacklobra KOM and the British Hill Climb Championships, I just did that off of like a couple of weeks training. You know, I just started cycling a year ago, a couple of weeks training. <laughs> anyway, serious. Here we go. Okay, no more questions now. <laughs> Until the end. <laughs> okay, let's keep it just steady here. Steady, steady. Hey, we are, Thomas. This year we are. We are organising a hill climb slash a hill time trial with a bike change involved. Shh, don't tell anybody. And it's gonna be it's gonna be so unique. And I'm gonna do some uh, hill climb. Clinics, climbing clinics, uh, online, and yeah, we'll do them as well in real life. But yeah, anyway, here we go. <clears throat> I need the small ring. Seven k to go.
Go on, John. Mr. Bowman. There's the organizer of this year's National Hill Climb Championships in front of us. Big ring. Hi, oh, John. Halfway up the climb, distance wise. This is like a eight.
I shall grab.
Hey, thank you. Please hit the like button if, uh, if you enjoyed that. As much as I did. Uh, whoa. Oh, wow. Samurai, they're 400 watts for 26 minutes. 5.7 watts per kilo. That's a strong, strong effort of that. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nice one now. They're top five. We claw back some, uh, some positions. They're epic. Oh, my word. It's like the worst possible place to finish because you can't, unless you do an immediate U-turn, you literally can't spin your legs at all on a 100% on a chain of difficulty. But look at this. It's 5 minutes, 6 watts per kilo, 20 minutes, 5.7. So I'm assuming that was just about a 20 minute effort. <coughs> <coughs> oh, blind me. Oh my word. Ah, oh, John, strong right, buddy. Well done, sir. Let me just get a photo of here. Uh, sorry, I'm not ignoring the chat. I'm just trying to get my breath back here because it's... Um, yeah, Whew. Have a look at the uh, graph. So just have a look at the last two segments there on the left hand side, you can see heart rate rising. I probably undercooked it ever so slightly. You can see how much my uh, my heart rate rises. It rises almost 10 beats in uh, the space of about 5 minutes. So I probably undercooked it a bit there. Look at this, John, John turn it around. <laughs> uh, there's Niall as well, barely moving. Um, you can't really read too much into the power because you'd expect to finish strong but there's very little increase in power but my heart rate just really climbs quite steadily until those last uh, couple of minutes so if I just end ride <coughs> and yeah I mean classic classic ne negative Pacing. Oh my towel. Classic negative uh, split, and the ending was a little bit scrappy. I was trying not to get involved with the uh, two riders I was with, um, but it's really difficult to do. So I wanted to finish strong, but I also didn't want to sort of get caught in a bit of a cat and mouse in them, but. In the end, it contributed to quite a red graph, which was uh, which was fine. Uh, but you can see it's a lot more surgy there. When you're on 100% training difficulty, you've got that variation of those ramps to deal with, and uh, yeah, it's quite quite difficult to control. I need to buy everything in my car. <laughs> Do I? Have I got a lot of drops? So there we go, there's the power graph, so we're going to compare it to... Oh, so that was actually a bit better than I expected. Much better than I expected, almost 360 for 20 minutes. Huh. Well, that's way better than I expected. Way, way better. It's, uh... So around right about what I thought, to be honest, if I if I didn't ramp up at the finish there with an educated guess, I could probably do about 350, 345, 350 watts for 35, 40 minutes. So, yeah. That's good. That's good. Just what I needed, a little bit of confidence boost. Things have been, uh, they're always difficult of the winter, as I'm sure a lot of you can uh, relate. You know, the winter is the winter, right? And uh, you've just got to get through it as, 
as best as you can, avoiding illness, avoiding injuries, and uh, you know, trying to make things fun while you're waiting for summer to come and waiting for your events to come around. It's always a difficult one. It's always a fine balance, and uh, this winter has been like particularly tough, but. When you do an effort that you're happy with, you know, it's the small wins and it makes you, uh, it keeps you rolling from one, one session to the next and not, uh, you, you don't end up sort of falling down like a bit of a, um, a bit of a negative mindset, which I think, uh, yeah, is quite difficult to get out of in the winter months, but there we go. All right, that is it. I'm gonna turn around and get down. I'm gonna jump off. I'm in charge of making dinner tonight and I've just had a message from John. John, who came fifth there in that event, one way to blow the winter cobwebs off. <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. Yes, indeed, right. I'm going to jump off, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. I'm sure I will see you on here at some point. So until then, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.